Academic Writing Lecture 2 Shnar Normandla, Senior Lecturer The theme of the lecture is the topic sentence, supporting sentences, the concluding sentence. The learning objectives of the lecture are to list types of sentences, discuss paragraph structure, discuss the topic sentence, supporting sentences, and the concluding sentence. So here you see the list of words, terms, which will you come, ac come across during the lecture. Supporting, controlling, statements, introductory, conclusion, topics, statistics, etc. So, as you know from the previous lecture, a paragraph has three parts. Topic sentence is the first sentence in a paragraph that names the topic and tells what the paragraph will explain about the topic. Supporting sentences are the middle sentences in a paragraph. They give examples or other details about the topic. Concluding sentence is the last sentence in a paragraph. It repeats the topic sentence in different ways or summarizes the main points. So, the topic sentence, as you know, is the most essential statement of the paragraph. It is the key sentence because it names the subject and the controlling idea the writer's main idea, opinion, or feeling about the topic. The topic sentence come, can come at the beginning or at the end of the paragraph. You will write your topic sentences as the first sentence of your paragraph for two reasons. First, you will tell the reader what you are going to say. Second, you can look back at the topic sentence often as you write the supporting sentences. It will help you stick to the subject as you write. The topic sentence of your paragraph must also have a controlling idea. The controlling idea is the main point, opinion or feeling, that you have about the subject and it controls or limits what you will write about it in your paragraph. So, and supporting sentences provide examples for the topic sentence. If a writer claims, for instance, that such an example, early childhood education programs provide cognitive benefits well beyond preschool, the second, third, and fourth sentences will include information supporting the main idea in the topic sentence. The topic sentence states the main idea, as you know, and it doesn't only name the topic of the paragraph, but also limits the topic to the specific area that can be discussed completely in the space of a single paragraph. The part of the topic sentences that announces the specific area to be discussed is called the controlling idea. So, and as you understood, a topic sentence is the most important sentence in a paragraph and shows what the paragraph is going to discuss. For this reason, the topic sentence is a helpful guide to both the reader and the right reader and writer. The writer can see what information to include and what information to exclude. The reader can see what the paragraph is going to be about and is therefore better prepared to understand it. Here are three important points to remember about a topic sentence. A topic sentence, first of all, is a complete sentence that and it, it contains at least one subject and one verb. A topic sentence contains both a topic and a controlling idea. It names the topic and then limits to the topic a specific area. And it is the most general statement in a paragraph because it gives only the main idea, as you know. It is usually, as you remember, it is the, usually the first sentence in a paragraph. And experienced writers sometimes put sentences in other locations. But the best spot is usually right at the beginning. Readers who are used to the English way of writing want to know what they will read about as soon as they begin reading. So, and as you know, 
What is a topic sentence? A topic state, uh, sentence states the main point of a paragraph and shows many thesis for the paragraph. You might think of it as a sign point for the readers or headline, something that alerts them to the most important interpretive points in your essay. When read in sequence, your essay's topic sentences will provide a sketch of the essays when read in sequence, and it thus topic sentences help to protect your reader from confusion by guiding them through the argument. But topic sentences can also help you to improve your essay by making it easier for you to recognize gaps or weaknesses in your argument. Where do topic sentences go? They usually appear at the very beginning as I have said. And sometimes writers save a topic sentence at the end of the paragraph. You may, for example, occasionally find that giving away from point at the beginning of a paragraph doesn't allow you to build your argument towards an effective climax. How do I come up with a topic sentence? And what makes a good one? Ask yourself what is going on in your paragraph. Why have you chosen to exclude the in, 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 include the information do you have? Why is the paragraph important in the context of your argument? And what point are you trying to make? Relating your topic sentences to your thesis can help strengthen the coherence in your essay. If you include a thesis statement in your introduction, then think of incorporating a keyword from statement into the topic sentence. Don't forget that your topic sentence should do more than just establish a connection between your paragraph and your thesis. Use it to show how your paragraph contributes to the development of your argument by moving it to that extra step forward. If your topic sentence merely restates your thesis, then either your paragraph is redundant to your topic sentence needs to be reformulated. If several of your topic sentences restate your thesis, even if they do so in different words, they, then your RC is probably repetitive. And they are, of course, important to readers and writers. As, you said. as for supporting sentences, you, they give information that explain and expand the topic of the paragraph. One of the biggest problems for students in writing that they fail to support their ideas adequately. They need to use specific details to be throughout and convincing. There are several kinds of specific supporting details, examples, statistics, and quotations. So supporting sentences give information that explains and expands the topic of the paragraph. They answer questions who, what, where, when, why, and how, and give details. So here you see these, these questions. For example, to begin with, online shopping can be a lot more convenient than shopping in the normal way. And the supporting sentence to this sentence is, we can shop without leaving the comfort of our own home. Also, we don't have to worry about long weeds or carrying heavy shopping bags. So, there are different kinds of supporting sentences. Good supporting sentences have different goals. Writers vary them. For example, to explain such a sentence, the family moved from the village to the capital, village to the capital, for economic reasons. Here is given the explanation of the reason why the family moved. So, supporting sentences describe she lived in a lovely three-story castle surrounded by a forest. So, the castle is described here. It is very lovely and three-story. Give reasons. Lucas finally quit his job because of the stressful working conditions. For what reason? For stressful working conditions. Give facts. More than 10% of the university student population is international. So, fact that 10% and students' population, and it is international. Give examples. Oranges and grapefruits grow in California. What kind of 
grapefruit. So oranges and grapefruits. Define many tourists visit Bangkok, which is the capital of the largest city in Thailand. So what? It gives a definition. As for concluding sentence, it is the last sentence of the paragraph and it concludes or wraps up a paragraph. It lets the reader know that you have finished talking about the idea introduced by the topic sentence. A paragraph doesn't always need it for a need a concluding sentence. For single paragraphs, especially long ones, a concluding sentence is helpful to the reader because it is a reminder of the important points. However, a concluding sentence is not needed for every paragraph in a multi-paragraph essay. So, and so a concluding sentence has one of these four important purposes. It restates the main idea, it offers a suggestion, it gives an opinion, it makes a prediction. Here, in this slide, you see the words which are usually used for important purposes. Transitional words in the concluding sentences are commonly used at the beginning of the concluding. Surely, as a result, overall, for this reason, certainly, because of this, uh, in conclusion, at the end, therefore, for these reasons, clearly, thus, in brief. So there, these words, transition words and phrases are commonly used at the beginning of the concluding sentences and cite these are at the end. A concluding sentence can offer a suggestion, give an opinion, make a prediction. Sometimes a concluding sentence does a combination of these three options. So, and as for the summary of the lecture, so the topic sentence, that is the key sentence, it names the subject and the controlling idea. Supporting sentences provide examples for the topic sentence. They explain or prove the topic sentence. There are different kinds of supporting sentences, which and writers write them to explain, describe, give reasons, give facts, give examples, and define. The concluding sentence is the last sentence of the paragraph. It concludes or wraps up a paragraph. There are the important points. A good topic sentence is a complete sentence with a subject, verb, and a controlling idea. Uh, it is neither too general nor too specific. It clearly states the main idea of the paragraph, but does not include specific details. It is usually the first sentence of the paragraph. So, as you remember, every paragraph has a topic sentence, and it is the most important sentence in this paragraph. It shows what the paragraph is going to discuss. Position of the topic sentence, it is a complete, that it is, contains at least one subject and one verb. A topic sentence contains both a topic and a controlling idea. It names the topic and then limits to the topic to a specific area to be discussed in the space of a single paragraph. And a topic sentence is the most general statement the, in the paragraph because it gives only one main idea. It doesn't give any specific details. Supporting sentences provide examples for the topic sentence. They explain or prove the topic sentence. And uh, such kinds of supporting sentences, the reason they explain supporting sentence, describe give reasons, define facts, give examples, define. We revise them, repeat. So, as the concluding sentence, it is the last sentence of the paragraph, it concludes or wraps up. And as for the important point, a good concluding sentence, again, signals at the end that summarizes the important points briefly or restates the topic sentence in different ways. So, there are questions for you to revise the whole material. 
What are the two parts of the topic? What is the function of topic sentence? Are specific and concrete details used for support? What are supporting sentences? And what is the function of the concluding sentence? Here the sources are given and internet sites, which where you may find the additional necessary material for getting ready for the seminar lesson. Thank you.